Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, we finally put up our tree and uh, looked bare underneath. My husband said, where's the presents? And I said, yeah, where are the presents? So I am going to make uh, some gift boxes, you know, those lighted gift boxes. And I purchased uh, a set, I think it was a couple of years ago online and I never put them out because I thought you know I'll put them out the following year if I could and I never did so I thought um, all I did was open them to make sure that they were working and then I just taped them back up so I don't want to get stuck with too many stuff my garage and basement is all full with the uh, Halloween stuff and I am making something big uh, without spoiling I'm making something big as well on the next upcoming videos uh, so I thought I would give that the store-bought one as a giveaway and I'm going to show you how you could make um, inexpensive ones uh, with your household item ones um, so I'm going to do that in the next segment uh, coming up and as well in the next video so right now I'm going to show you the ones that are the giveaway and if you could just uh, keep in mind again it's going to be a pickup um, and so for anybody who's out of the Toronto Ontario area uh, keep in mind that it's uh, for those participants that are nearby that can come by and pick it up so I'm gonna uh, put those on here Now, these ones are uh, dancing. It is indoor, outdoor. Um, and let me just make sure that they're working. So, let me just take them, slide them out so I don't the bowl off. And this glitter is all over me these days. And these are great because they fit into each other, so I'm sure you know how they work. Uh, well, I hope you can see. The big one is uh, red with a green bow. And medium is a white one. I won't undo it all because I just want to pack it up nicely again and the small one is a green one with the uh, red bow so to do this draw uh, I'm gonna see uh, I'm gonna change it up a little bit so do the word win and um, let me see if you paid attention to my first video uh, where did I buy the placemats to do the bow? Not where I bought the bow uh, for my blue wreaths. Where did I buy the placemats to create the bow for the red wreaths? Um, so put the word win and the store where I bought the placemats, the jeweled placemats, the silver jeweled placemats. So, um, and then we'll do the draw for next week on the 20th. Again, so you could hopefully take advantage of these and um, I'll be able to use them indoor or outdoor. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how to make your own uh, if you wanna do them uh, yourself, uh, do it yourself, DIY. So stay tuned and let me clear up my desk and uh, put all the material that I need. So again, go get yourself some tea, um, wine, rosé, whatever your pleasure is, and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna work on um, 
opening these up, removing the brackets and folding it in the middle. And then I'll get back to you on the next step. Okay guys, so I'm back. So now that they're spray painted silver, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap them in basically anything that you want. But what I found something that was pretty neat was this, this is from Amazon. It's called, I'll, I'll put a link on at the bottom. It's a table runner. I don't know why they would call it a table runner because it's pretty thin, but you they you can dress up a table with it and it comes in various colors, gold, silver, and rose gold. And uh, once you put it on, it does camouflage the wire and make it look like a, a, a gift. And I found that uh, testing it, uh, doing it twice, uh, camouflages the wire better so I'm going to do that uh, and speed it up so you can see how I glue it down and because we're going to put LED lights inside you're still able to um, wrap around the wire underneath so I would recommend I found uh, trial and error that it was better to not put the lights first because then when you're gluing um, you could glue on top of the lights. So I found better to, you know, you can do whatever you want, but I found better to wrap this up first, use the edges, and then uh, it's secured well enough. Now, if you're gonna put these outside, a hot glue is not sufficient. Uh, you need to get either Gorilla Glue or, oh, you can't see it on that one. E6000 or B7000. These are glues that are very, very strong. And you would uh, put these on the edges and then put um, some hot glue to sort of hold your material while these solidify uh, over time uh, because they don't dry fast. So you'd have to hang on there while it's drying. So if you put this on and then you put a little bit of dab of the hot glue, hot glue dries right away and it'll hold it while this is curing uh, over time, uh, overnight or whatever. So um, if you're gonna do that, uh, take your chance and put these outside, uh, then you could do that. Um, so uh, I may do that. 
I might do that as well. Uh, but I'm going to use these inside. But we'll see as I go along. Um, so then you would put this. I'm going to do one wrapping on top so I can put that. Leave it open on the bottom so you can put your LED lights. And then I'm going to do twice around. And the top is going to be left for the bow. So I just want to quickly explain that. And then for decorating, um, you can get these wired uh, mesh, you know, uh, Amazon, uh, you know, Michaels, wherever. And these ones I got at Walmart for 14 bucks. And I think they were, I'm not sure if it was uh, 10, 10 yards. So I, I think that's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was uh, 20 feet or whatever it was. But there's a lot in here. Um, so the roll is pretty thick and I'm not even going to use this width. I'm going to uh, cut it in half. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. And you can decorate however you want, you know, your color taste or whatever. So I'm just going to do uh, my sample to show you. So, uh, and then I'll show you how I do a bow. think of this um, table runner, whatever they call it on Amazon, I think it's perfect for this because, like I said, the overlapping is covering all the wire underneath and it looks uh, like a present. So I'm going to now cover it with this mesh, as I said. I'm going to cut it and um, cut it in half and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bow as well. So stay tuned.
there's the bow on it and all that's left is uh, the lights I'm going to put inside. But I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of embellishment on the top. You can do this if you want. You can stop right here and just do the lights. But uh, I'll go quickly through some ideas of embellishment if you want to do it. And then I'm going to go ahead with the lights. So stay tuned.
Hi guys, so there you have it, the finished product. Uh, here's the two of them. There are enough racks in those Amazon um, packs uh, to make three, but I uh, left the third one to do on my own. I'll post a picture later on my Facebook and on the page. Um, so I did the two of them so that you could quickly see the results and hopefully inspire you. Um, and remember that the giveaway is for this, the dancing indoor outdoor one. Um, and don't forget uh, to go and find the answer, which uh, you're looking for. Uh, where did I buy the placemats, the bling, silver bling placemats um, for the wreath, my first video. And then go comment on here um, with the word win and the answer. So uh, that is the draw will be done on the 20th. And again, it's computer generated. Um, and so for these ones, um, I'll post where I got these lights. These lights are uh, safe for indoor, outdoor, and you saw me put them in. And it comes with remotes. And good thing with these is it does have a timer and it works for both of them. So uh, you could set them with different features. It's got eight different modes and uh, uh, it functions for both of them simultaneously, which is good instead of having to do each one. So here you have it. I did uh, ornaments on one of them and with a little pear and little decoration on this one. And on this one, I did small ones up at the top and um, a little decoration up at the top with the snowflakes on both. Uh, and then bling wrap on, on the red bling wrap on this one. So you can do whatever you want. You know, it's your creation. So um, I'm not going to take these outdoor. These ones I'm going to put under my tree. Um, and I'm going to show you um, in um, part two uh, ones that I'm going to try outdoor and they're going to be easier. So you don't have to do any folding, <laughs> any arm strength to do that one. Um, and I'm going to take a chance and put them outside as soon as the weather gets better. So uh, stay tuned for that one. And don't please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, share, comment, and I hope you're enjoying these. Take care.